The Memphis Sports Zone coming at you one more time this week in high school basketball. Six games, six minutes of straight Memphis hooping. Southwind Houston going head to head at the home of the Mustangs. Ryan Boyce on the jumper, then Bruce Guy on the take. And we were off and running with an exciting first half between these two. Other end, here come the Jaguars and one. Cameron Jones with a hoop and the harassment. Then the Jags, Mark Freeman, fundamentally sound. A pump fake and the bucket game high 23 for Freeman. Later, forget the fundamentals, give me the bounce. Ryan Boyce, look out. Put him in the sports zone, slow-mo, slam, cam, bam. Boyce flying the friendly skies on his way to 19. Still first quarter, Carlos Santa for stopping and popping. He had seven, but Southwind had some answers. They push it up a little corner three, count them. Then how about a little bang for your buck? Get up, young fella. Cameron Jones pounding the rim, and the Jaguars win it in impressive fashion, 96-74. Let's bounce to Kirby now. Cougars Roadrunners of Ridgeway on a Friday night. Darius Carter and the home team ready to rise to the occasion. Nice first quarter for that young man. On the flip side, check Ridgeway's Antonio Thomas. Nice runner off the glass. Speaking of off the glass, Darius Carter likes to do his banking after hours. Didn't call it, but it counts. Back to Ridgeway now. Their guards respond. One good floater coming up. Antoine beams the bucket. Then don't fall for the back door. Great pass. Jalen Crutcher on the finishing end. Excellent guard battle going on in this one. Later play time over. Kirby in transition. Darius Carter going all the way up. Put him in the sports zone. Slow-mo slam. Cam Carter taking the elevator to the top floor. 22 on the evening for the Cougar guard. Kirby, great balance scoring in this one. Four players in double figures, including Dontrell Sanders, who had 16. But perhaps the player of the game and perhaps the player of the night came from Ridgeway's Jalen Crutcher. Take a look. Take a listen. Be kind, rewind. Crutcher, the lethal cross to go along with the lethal jumper. He led all scores with 23. Back the other way came Desmond Johnson. Below the rim, Jim nominee coming up here. Johnson, 22 on the night. This one a battle all night. Ridgeway, though, survives in the end. Antoine Bean, 16. And the Roadrunners get a road win, 75-73. Elsewhere, let's go Whitehaven, let's go Central Squared off in Warrior Land. First quarter action, Tigers getting defensive. The block leads to the fast break, and the fast break leads to the layup. Cam Jones on the finish. Moments later, Whitehaven like the state championship football team. Watch this length of the court pass and the over-the-shoulder catch by Mark Quavius Lobbins. That is picture-perfect. Lobbins 13 in the game. Coach Phillips had to like that. Central's response to that, time to go three ball and John Anderson Jr. from the corner count him. Then Jordan Johnson from way downtown, nothing but the bottom of the net. Central starting to build the lead. Still first half, Whitehaven looking to clap back. They had a few three balls dropping, but in the end, it was the Warriors taking care of home court, attacking the rack early and often. Brandon Mason coming at you in transition, two of his 10, and Central a winner, 76-64. Over the single way action, they were handing out crowns at MAHS homecoming for Moz. Jam-packed crowd to see the home team take on defending state champ Mitchell. Third quarter off the block, Lions Jalen Watkins, a tough bucket in traffic. Lions feeling good, but Mitchell feeling better. They had this kid, Tyron Davis, and this young man had a heck of a third quarter. Behind the back, Drano, then going one-on-one -on -one again. Tough shot off the glass later in transition, even when he missed. Something good happening. Give that follow to any number of Tigers you choose. I don't know who got it. Mitchell on a third quarter run. Later, Coach Turner says, give me one more. David says, I got you, Coach. Straight cash, homie. 19 for Davis and Mitchell a winner. 78-65. Let's swing it to South Memphis Grad Academy, the home team against the Memphis School of Excellence. Grad off to a great start this season. First quarter, Cedric Fletcher showing the mid-range. Then Joshua Sistrunk showing the long range. <laughs> Coach Williams says, good job. Thumbs up to that. How about thumbs up to this? More Sistrunk, the steal and the acrobatic finish. Take another look. It is our sports zone below the rim gym of the evening. Grad Academy up by double digits. Later, Eagles straighten up and fly right. Brian Price has some game, not afraid to show it. Then watch this pass with the left hand. That is a beauty. Price a major bright spot for the School of Excellence. He led all scores with 28. 
but not nearly enough on this night. Edward Malone, two of his 16, and grabbed a big winner, 99-45. Elsewhere, a good matchup in the private school ranks Lausanne stepping inside the Lions Den to take on defending state champ Harding. First half, Lausanne on the move. Cameron Sims with a two in transition. Nice night for him. Moments later, you want to see a good move. Calvin Austin giving it to you. The jump stop plus the pump fake. 12 for Austin. Then Harding defense going to work. The block on one end and the look ahead on the other. Brian Lee on the assist from Austin. Lee a productive night with 20. This one closed all night. Lausanne's Isaac Adelman checking in on the box score and the Lynx checking out with a hard-fought victory, 74-71.